Welcome to another episode of the Savvy Author Show. So my name is Clara Rose. I'm your host, and I am so excited that you have joined me today to learn more about how you can become a savvy author too. Now, sometimes when I show up, I have a, a special guest. Sometimes when I show up, I have some knowledge to drop on you. We might talk about uh, the brainstorm and blueprint, which is the very first piece of creating your book. We might talk about creating and correcting your work, or we might talk about publishing and promoting your work. Those are the three phases, of course, of book creation. And I like to spend some time on each of them to help you gain more knowledge about being a savvy author and putting your book out to the world. But today, I'm super excited because I have a special guest and she has also become a dear friend. So we started off a number of years ago doing her first book together and then over time we just did project after project and just became good friends so i am excited to have her on the show her name is amy debrick so amy debrick is a confidence coach she is also the author of embolden which yes i did help her with she's a speaker she's a cancer survivor she's the host of the life on purpose podcast she's the co-creator of the focus retreat which i'm excited to talk about with her today. She's passionate about helping women get out of their comfort zone and focus on the things in life that really do matter. She encourages women globally with her podcast, and she's featured in articles like Darling Magazine, Thrive Global, WomenEncouraged.com, and of course, many other places out there. Surrendering gave Amy courage in all areas of her life, and she's grateful that she'll never be the same again. So here today with me to talk about courage is my good friend, Amy. Are you there, Amy? There you are. Hello, my friend. Hello. Can you hear me okay? There. Yes, there you are. Welcome to the show. Thank you for taking time out of your, what I know is a crazy busy world to be with me today. Thank you so much for having me. This is going to be a fun conversation. I'm excited to see you and uh, talk about all the things. All the things. So, what what do you have new going on in your world? Embolden is almost embolden is not news to some people, but it's old news to us, right? <laughs> it's been out for a while, right. Um, <laughs> right? We even have a second version now. Are you still planning mm -hmm. another version, like one for teens? Or I know we've talked about a couple of those kinds of things. Is there another embolden in the works? Uh, there is another embolden in the works. Uh, nothing to uh, you know, nothing hard and fast of release dates or anything like that, but it is something that is still on the radar. We've had a lot of people request it. It is something that I'm passionate about doing. Uh, so yes, that will be more information to come. I don't have any um, anything like currently coming out, but it will be coming down the pike for sure. <laughs> coming soon. We just use that that loose term soon, coming soon. What else do you have going on right now? So right now, actually, it's been a really fun shift. So starting uh, really with the book and then um, being the co a confidence coach, you know, how and, and, and you can relate to this in your field of work also is that you start out in one spot and it ends up morphing mm -hmm. into something even greater, yeah. something that you wouldn't imagine. Sure. And so those two things really um, have brought about a passion to uh, have women, to speak life into women, give them that same encouragement. You know, sometimes mm. it's not um, easy, uh, maybe financially or just showing up all the time for coaching. And so I had the privilege of being a co-creator for what's called the Focused Retreat. So I have really yeah. spent the last few years um, kind of fostering, offering retreats outside of even the focus retreat to women in their niche um, giving them a space being that person who does kind of all the background noise to make it happen 
And I um, mean, I love doing that. So we do have, so in addition to just uh, independent women doing it, where I can do all the back end and hosting and all of that, uh, the focused retreat is something that we did for the first time last year. And that was really, uh, the goal of that was to focus, have women, uh, more specifically Christian women entrepreneurs in whatever their niche is, come together and gather and take the pause to focus on the things that matter most to them. Mm. And so um, we've kind of, uh, we had an amazing event last year. Um, it turned into something greater than we could even imagine. Mm. And we've had more people asking about it, you being one of them. And so, uh, mm. you know, we yeah. are expanding focus, like I said, for um, a retreat for people in their specific niche. And so I know you have something special in the works that I'm, feel privileged to I be a part do. of with I'm the retreat as it. well. Yeah. So now the focus retreat was, um, you partnered with a couple of other ladies, right? And um, um, who are they? So the focus retreat, I am partnered with Lori Beth Aldridge. She is from the brand Elevating Motherhood and Jennifer Ford Berry. She's a best-selling author and she's a professional organizer who interestingly, interestingly enough found when she was in people's homes in these women's homes and organizing them that she would stay on an extra hour and help them declutter the things in their life and so mm -hmm. together we collaborated and we uh kept coming up with these similar pain points that we heard from the women in our industry and we thought it was really important to combine our efforts and gather with them and give them the encouragement and support and really help them implement some things too you know part of a retreat is rest and rejuvenation for sure mm -hmm. but the other part is also if you're going to take that time and you know money away you want to leave with some things done right you want to leave with some things checked off your list not necessarily leaving with a whole other to-do list that you may not have time for. Right. So we really are trying to, uh, you know, make sure that these women are truly feeling like they've accomplished something, even in this separated rest time. I love that. And not only is it a cool place for women to get away together and actually get some of this work done, but it's in a really cool place. <laughs> Right. Wow. The location is amazing. I'm so a tell partial. us about. Yeah, you are a little partial, but I'm telling you, I'm super excited about it. Tell us about um, the Shaker Village part. So yeah, so I have a home in Harrington, uh, uh, on Harrington Lake in Kentucky. The event, so the VIP, I'll back up. The VIP ticket, we do a catered um, event at my home on the lake with some live entertainment, which was so fun. And then the workshop days are Thursday and Friday over at the historic Shaker Village. And that is just a magnificent mm -hmm. place. It has an inn attached, it has a beautiful farm to table restaurant. It actually has a farm on site, trails, uh, gift shops, a little uh, old fashioned like mini post office, all the things, an outdoor um, benches all around the grounds, uh, just acre after acre of just beauty. So and so it was a wonderful experience. This one this year is going to be in September. So we're looking forward to that. We're just uh, opened registration uh, the beginning of April. And uh, so if anybody's interested in that, they can, you know, find out more after. But yes, it's a it's a beautiful setting. And I know that your retreat, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, the writer's mm -hmm. retreat, mm -hmm. we're going to host there as well. So this is really kind of the place yeah. if, if you're doing it with me that I is my go to place because it does right. just have everything in one spot. And when you're a traveler coming from out of town, especially in an area you're not familiar, it is very nice to have everything kind of at your fingertips. And so um, right. even downtown is less than 10, 10 minutes from Shaker Village to get to. And like I said, it's just a one-stop shop, but it's beautiful and very serene yeah. and just all the things you would want in a retreat. All the things you need. And a retreat truly is about retreating, <laughs> right? It's right. about getting away right. um, for something specific to happen. So for instance, the focus retreat is about getting away, disconnecting so that, that you can focus, right, on what's important. And the writer's retreat is about getting away so that you can focus on that beginning stage of getting your book started, right? And that it's foundational to the success of your book. So 
you, Amy, you've been through the brainstorming blueprint a couple of times now, right? Or for mm -hmm. books. Um, tell, tell the audience how important that first piece was to you mm -hmm. or that experience was for you. Cause I could say it, but having experienced it from the other side, sure. You probably have a different outlook. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it is very difficult to get the thoughts organized outside of your head. Like I, mm -hmm. I think I'm like most writers, I had a great idea. I had a lot of thoughts. Mm -hmm. I, I even had, you know, formed uh, different in my mind, like what a chapter could, could look like, but to get all of that out of that, you know, that brain dump out and actually organize mm -hmm. it um, and get it in a way where it's uh, doable to move ahead with is a whole other animal. And, and to me, mm -hmm. that was the, the lifeline uh, to starting the book. Um, I don't know how people do it when they don't have some type of a strategy or, or a coach that they're working with. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I think is a huge gift that you're offering at this particular retreat is the fact that they can get this done in a matter of a couple of days. You know, when, you know, right. you and I, like you said, I hired you as a coach to do that. That was something that mm -hmm. you were helping me with. And we, and it took different, you know, weeks on ends of what we were doing, but this is a very unique, I feel like opportunity for women to, get all of those things, those pieces done in a couple of days. So it's it's a rest, but it's still, again, an acceleration to leave where you feel you feel like, mm -hmm. wow, this was like, I got so much done here. And so, right. and now right. I have a million places to go with it. Right. And because that's foundational, that first piece is so foundational, having that done before you start writing is mm -hmm. so important to not writing yourself in circles. Right. So important to know, OK, I'm now working on chapter one and here's what we've mm -hmm. pre-decided. We predetermined is going to be in chapter one. Right. So it helps you stay focused. Isn't that interesting? Helps you stay focused yes. on the part that you're supposed to be focusing on. Right. And so you work on just that piece. And then when that piece is done, then you move on to the next piece. And without that, writers literally write themselves in circles or at least that's the tendency to write themselves in circles and that's what the brainstorming blueprint is all about is getting that out of your head that brain dump out of your head there's the brainstorm and then the blueprint is your the outline to follow before you start writing a single word and that's what this writer's retreat is all about and of course we'll start with analyzing it and you have the benefit of an of a group of people there with you which when I work one-on-one -on -one with people, there's just the two of us collaborating. But in a group setting, you even have more minds. So you have more potential collaborations and some really cool things come from group settings. I'm sure that you experienced that in, in the focus retreat, right? People just meeting and forming friendships and bonds and some cool things can happen when a group gets together and starts collaborating. Well, I think, Clara, to your point, one of the nice things about gathering, you don't have to gather like this particular event for focus is, you know, everybody has a different niche. You could be a, in a completely different, you could be a speaker, you could be just a, you know, a marketing leader for a company. It doesn't really matter where you're leading in your industry or what you're doing, but there's nothing like that in-person feedback in perspective that you wouldn't get from just, you know, not having other people hearing it. And so I think, again, what's nice about being able to uh, have not only the community aspect where, you know, maybe everybody's working independently, but you're like, hey, you know, what do you, what would you think of this? Like, how would this, would this appeal mm -hmm. to you or whatever? I mean, there's, where else are you getting that? You know what I mean? Like you said, you and I worked one-on-one, -on -one, which was fantastic. And I want to also say one of the things that I think is amazing about you doing this at a retreat setting is the pruning process can really be daunting because we love our words and we love our stories. <laughs> We love I our mean, stuff. I mean, let's just call it for what it is. We love our words and we right. love our stories. And it's hard to have 
a really healthy level of discernment on what needs to stay and what mm -hmm. needs to go to make it a really good read. And so having mm -hmm. some having you there and and just even that beginning process of starting to prune things to get an organized outline is huge. Um, and so if you've ever even thought of writing a book, I mean, to me, I would be running to sign up for this because that's, this is a rare, this is a rare opportunity. And, um, you know, even for me, for the next, uh, book, the, the next version of embolden or whatever we end up doing with that or something else, you know, I've got a couple of different manuscripts. Um, it's something that you definitely want to take advantage of because that is a, it's a very long process and to have it shortened, uh, with somebody and the benefit of having other people to kind of just run a few ideas by is pretty incredible. It's very pretty, rare. Pretty powerful. Yeah, it is yeah. rare. There's not, there's not people out there doing it. And I don't know why, because the value that you bring in a group setting is so obvious. And I've done, I've done some, some group brainstorm and blueprint, but I've never done it in a retreat setting where you like, get to go away as well, right? So when you're at home and you go to a conference seminar or whatever for the day is very different than when you go somewhere else and do it, right? So at the end of the day, after you've been working, you can go to dinner with some of the ladies or you can you know, go back to your room and quietly work on your stuff or there's no outside commitment, home life, those kinds of things pulling at you. So I'm super excited to have an opportunity to get them away, right? Get away from the everyday life to really focus on getting a good, solid, strong foundation for their book. Because that's what makes successful books. It just starts at the beginning. Right. So I am well, super one, excited. Well, one thing I want to add to that. Oh, I'm sorry, Clara. One thing I, I wanted to no. add to that is the fact that you you pointed out something really important so there's a lot of writers that i even personally know and sometimes for like the last chapter of their book or maybe the first chapters or whatever they will actually go and book themselves a hotel room and and do that mm -hmm. um but i've but i've yet to hear of an opportunity where you are doing that right you still have the time sorry my dog's coming in and out <laughs> wanting to be interested okay. in writers retreat um but yes. you, you never hear about <laughs> spaces and places where you're going doing that uh, part of it plus having a coach there with you one-on-one -on -one to get mm. these things done plus having the community aspect and the downtime. You know, there is something really nice about spending all that time and effort um, putting into your book, getting your words on. It's an exhausting process. Sometimes it can mm -hmm. be an emotional process. And to have mm -hmm. the release, again, at your choice, it's not a, an, you know, not something that you're going to insist of your guests, but to go and have some fellowship with some other women to kind of just, mm -hmm. you know, shift gears for a minute he listened to their stories kind of be filled up refuel in that way is really uh truly magical and some of the cool things that have come out of the group setting which i anticipate will even be greater at the retreat is these these lifelong friendships that happen right you've mm -hmm. you're working together right and then you go home and now you have other people that you can say, hey, can I send you this chapter? Let me know what you think, right? So you get this built-in uh, writer's group that they're super rare to find a writer's group that works well together, that you have some relationship with, that people are um, showing up for each other is a pretty rare thing. I've I've been, uh, tried to be a part over the years of different writer's groups and they're there just aren't a lot of really great writers groups, but I see them coming out of the groups that, that do the work together, right? It's different when you're like down in the mud together for some reason. I know that sounds really dramatic down in the mud, but it, it can be, right? When you're plowing through these ideas and then someone's saying, yeah, oh, that, don't put that in, leave that out, right? Or um, don't go down that road, right? So some of these things that you just don't get someplace else. I'm excited to see all that comes out of the writer's retreat in that way too. Super oh, absolutely. Exciting. I, I, I totally agree. I think that they also will give, you know, you're talking about this unique little 
um, community that you're creating. And I think for people who want to just even think beyond like the retreat and a future book, these are going to be your people possibly that you're going to be asking to be on your launch team that are going to yeah. be, you know, really kind of help helping you in the long run to promote this that really have seen you put the, you know, some of the blood, sweat and tears into it. And they're really right. going to be, it's going to be a different relationship. You know, it's very challenging. Mm -hmm. that, that's a whole other, you know, episode on your show of once you do have your book written and marketing that and, and connecting people and getting, getting people to want to write reviews and all of those things. It's very challenging mm -hmm. because there's so many out there, but when you have a core group now that you've actually mm -hmm. established a relationship with beyond social media, that's a different relationship. That's something where there's the like, no right. trust has already been established and they're going to be more apt to cheer, cheer you on um, in a more authentic way. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. I can't even count the number of people who have sent me books without even, they, they saw me on social media and they just send me their book because they want me to endorse it or they want me to read it and, and say, hey, I loved this book, but I don't know them, right? And so being the, the editor person that I am, the very first thing that I do is I open and look at the formatting and, right, so I prejudge <laughs> how well it's put together, whether I even read it because that's such an important piece. And we'll talk about that piece during the writer's retreat, that how important that to get that piece right is. Um, and then sometimes I'll read it, but I rarely like hop on social media and tout their stuff because I don't know who they are. I don't, I don't have the time to go looking them up to see if they're a person that I want to endorse, right? So mm -hmm. this opportunity to build relationship when you when you break bread with someone, right? When you do the work with somebody, that relationship happens. And those are the people that you want to cheer on, the people you want to say, oh yes, I, I, I wanna share this with my people, right? I wanna endorse this because they know you. And there's, that's the value on the back end of it for sure. So I can't wait for this event. It is coming up in September. For anyone who's interested, actually the focus retreat is happening in September as well. So if people want to find out more about the focus retreat, where can you send them, Amy? You can go right to the event page, which is thefocusretreat.com, no spaces, and registration is open. You can sign up there. You can also sign up to stay in the loop. We're actually gonna be doing a free masterclass and have some special Mother's Day. It's going to be at the Focused Mother. It's just uh, four mm -hmm. mothers. Um, and so we're going to have some special giveaways for that. But yes, yeah, you can just go to thefocusretreat.com and get all the information there. That is so cool. I wish that I could go this year, but I am have a retreat right on the heels, so I don't know that I can pull that off. But <laughs> for sure, if I don't get there this year, for sure next year I want to be there because... I'm super excited to see what you ladies have put together. And I'm such a believer in the retreat process. Okay, so we're just about out of time, but thank you once again for taking time out of your busy world to be with us, talk about the upcoming retreat. And then of course, for those people who do register for the writer's retreat, Amy will be there to help me facilitate all of it. So I thank you for that as well. Thank you so much. I, it's an honor and I'm excited for it. I am too. All right, my friend, I will see you. I will see you soon. Thanks again. Thank you. So that was my lovely friend, Amy. And of course, she's helping me to co-host the, the writer's retreat that's coming up in September and at her beautiful lake home for those of you who will be part of the VIP. And of course, this is the, hopefully the annual retreat that we're going to do to help people kick off their new book. If you have never done a brainstorming blueprint, but you've been trying to write a book, this is for you. Let me tell you where you can go to learn more about it. You can go to clairerose.com, find out some information over there, or the brainstormandblueprintretreat.com and hop on the registration form because registration is now open. So I anticipate that it will fill up fast. So if you want one of those spots, especially if you want a VIP spot, which gives you that extra event at the lake house with the live music and the hors d'oeuvres and the, the wine and all the fun that happens the night before, you will want to jump on 
getting that VIP ticket. And of course, if you just have questions because you're not quite sure yet, please drop me an email over at hello at clararose.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Otherwise, jump over there and sign up for the retreat. Okay, so I am completely out of time now, but I just want to take an opportunity to talk about what's coming next. What's coming next? In case you have not heard the good news, the Savvy Author Program is coming back. So if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with somebody who, in a group setting, just like we talked about at the retreat, this is your opportunity. Here's why this works. It has built-in accountability. So we start out with the brainstorming blueprint, of course. If you come to the retreat, you'll have that piece done. And then a seasoned literary consultant and editor guides you every step of the way. No more wondering where to start, writing yourself to a corner, or have to finish manuscripts that you have no idea what to do with. We are going to teach you everything that you need to know about front matter, core content, back matter, all of the pieces of your book to have a solid, successful book. So the brainstorm blueprint process, of course, gets all that stuff out of your head. Hopefully I'll see you at the retreat and we'll take care of that. And the blueprinting, get it outlined so we can do something with it. We educate you about your publishing options. And then of course, we're gonna guide you through the editing. Not that you don't need a, a, an editor because you will, but we're gonna guide you through the basics of editing, the basics of formatting and the basics of publishing understanding all those pieces, which is super important. And then of course, we're gonna help you figure out how the best way for you to launch your book is, is gonna come about. So those are all the pieces for the Savvy Author Program, which is coming back soon. So be on the lookout for that. If you're at the Writer's Retreat, nobody knows this yet, so you're the first to hear this, but if you're at the Writer's Retreat, you get the Brainstorm and Blueprint done there, with us together, you're going to get a special entry pricing into the Savvy Author Program that you can only get there. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that opportunity. Thank you so much for showing up here every week to listen to me talk about being a savvy author. It means so much that you come and support me. And I look forward to seeing you each and every week. I will see you same time, same place next week. Once again, I'm Claire Rose, and this has been the Savvy Author Show. Take care.